Hey everyone! So this is my latest layout that I've made. Um, look at me posting more than once a year. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to scrapbook a little bit more um, now that we're in the new house and my scrapbook room is somewhat settled. I'm not ready to show it yet because I still have walls unfinished but um, I have been busy scrapbooking lately. So this is my Brave layout and there's a ton of layers on this and I'll go through everything how I started. Um, when I do layouts I always start with a background paper. So I started with this tree paper and um, I added this stone border all around and originally this was going to be a Robin Hood layout and I abandoned it. I have like 10 layouts abandoned in a drawer. I call it my give up drawer and um, I was really glad that I was able to pull this back out and make something of it. So I did that and then I added um, some wood, just I cut uh, little strips of wood from uh, wood paper, like a realistic looking paper and then I added black cardstock all on the sides there just two little strips and then I added um, some water off a different piece of paper and I added this more greenery which you saw in the Nottingham layout and um, the grass is like a realistic looking paper of grass and then I just took an exacto knife and flicked away and then I have um, flower soft I've been pulling that out lately so they got the little flowers and then the title it says I will ride I will fly chase the wind and touch the sky those are the lyrics in the song where Merida's running through the forest being free so that's kind of like the inspiration for this page um, I used chalkboard paper to cut that out because it's a really stiff paper and it cuts really well on the crickets um, so like when I'm using um, like uh, this kind of font then uh, the cursive it sticks together really well whereas some cardstock will fall apart on me. So I used the chalkboard stuff and then I added uh, actual chalk for highlights to make it stick out a little bit further. And I've added highlights to all the trees back here, uh, just white highlights and added like little dots here and there, kind of make it like little uh, fireflies or little wisps. I did little wisps right here that I made out of vellum. And same with that guy, that guy's made out of vellum and the Copics on top. So the photo mats, I did not sew this time because what I've done is um, this paper kind of reminded me of the wisp when I was looking at it. It's like Merida colors, so I used that. And then I did little strips of wood because I don't like to waste this paper so it's not like a full piece of wood there. Uh, just little strips and glued them together. And then for this one, I took uh, just black cardstock and I used my distressor and distressed the edges and uh, add a little bit of chalk to the end so you can really see it. And then I actually, these are, um, I think I have like little pop dots behind you, so it actually sticks out from the page quite a bit. So I hand drew, like I said, the wisp, and then I made this with two different pieces of paper and hand drew Sully, because that's like an Easter egg and Brave. And then I hand drew the crow, which I'm really happy with. The highlights worked out well. I'm not the best drawer in the world. I'm not good at shading and stuff. I'm getting there. I've, I've seen that I have improved, which is good, but I still have a lot of improvement to do. And I hand drew the target and then used wood for it holding it. And then over here, I cheated and used a Jolie's Eagle, which I bet you I'll go back and uh, redraw it myself. <laughs> but I was tired at that point and just like, hey, I have an Eagle. I have so many stickers. I probably have like 10,000 stickers, Jolie stickers that, you know, I got at auction years ago. And I usually try not to pay more than a dollar a piece for things. And um, I have so many and I don't use them anymore. I'm just making my own embellishments. So I'll figure it out. <laughs> Maybe I'll do like a few uh, random giveaways and send some goodies to some people. So a little wisp there. And then for the witch's house, um, I've actually, you can see that's dimensional. So I've popped out some of these rocks. So I just use a piece of uh, cardstock behind it um, and like curl the paper. And same with this, I cut out a few extra leaves and popped them up and then I've actually curled the paper in to kind of give it a rounded effect. And then this is just wood paper. Um, I cut it out, put black cardstock behind it. I printed a spider doorknob because I couldn't uh, draw that small. I'd had enough at that point so I just printed that out and cut it out. Um, Agnes, I hand drew. I'm getting better at working with black. It's really hard because I actually don't use black. Uh, marker when I'm coloring in things black. I use a uh, different grace so I can get some of the shading done. But yeah, that's Agnes there. And a 
I think that's pretty much the page. So lots and lots of layers on this one. And I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. So, oh, sorry about my finger. So thanks for watching. Um, if you subscribe, you should know when I have new videos. I have a ton of ideas. I had scrapper's block for a little bit, but I have lots of ideas coming. So and I'm, my goal this year is to um, stay, uh, make sure I make videos maybe once a week, once every two weeks and try to stay on top of the comments and stuff because I've been really bad at doing that. I do apologize. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up, and I really uh, enjoy everyone's comments when you do comment. I appreciate them. Thank you so much. Bye.